Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to Christ Church Community Facebook page. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Ashley Wood and I am the Director of Children and Youth Ministries here at Christ Church. I was asked to come and do the devotion with you today uh, as we prepare for Rally Day uh, this coming Sunday. For those of you that don't know, Rally Day is a big back to school, back to church kind of kickoff that Christ Church always likes to do in the fall. It's um, as school starts and we prepare to transition into fall, we invite everyone who's um, been out of church for the summer vacation to come back and kind of get back into the habit of coming to church on Sunday. And it's a really uh, great community event. There will be inflatables for the children. There'll be food provided by the church. There'll be some music and some games for the kids. Uh, everything's free and open to everyone in the community. It's just a great way to kick off our fall season and our time together as we prepare to start things back like Sunday school. Uh, I know for the children's uh, class, Sunday school will begin on September the 10th. Uh, with new classes and new curriculum and I will be teaching those classes so we have a lot of stuff fun planned for this fall and rally day is just a great kickoff. Um, I apologize there's no music this morning I, I do not have uh, those special gifts or talents um, so I'm just here to share a message with you today and again to invite everyone to rally day and if you have any questions just feel free to send us a message on Facebook or call us here at the church and we'll answer them for you so I would like to start uh, with a short prayer before we begin Heavenly Father, be with us this day as we listen to your word. Let us hear your guidance and wisdom and not our own thoughts and temptations. It's in your name we pray. Amen. So the devotion I chose today comes from the book of Luke, and it's based on um, chapter 15, verses 17 through 22. So hear the words from the book of Luke. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare while I am here starving to death? I will send out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against you. I have sinned against heaven. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me one of your servants. So he got up and he went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son and put his arms around him and started kissing him. The son said to his father, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So the devotion for the prodigal son begins. The first thing to understand here, if you're not familiar with this story, is that the younger son has taken his father's inheritance and has gone off to the pagan country to escape God's commandments and to enjoy himself without any restrictions or moral standards. It seems that he wanted his freedom. But this lifestyle has led him to such a moral collapse that he was indulgent in a multitude of sins. In this situation, he suddenly realized that he had lost more than his money his dignity and his reputation, but he had lost his faith. This parable is very realistic for a lot of us. The prodigal son first concern is that he had nothing to eat. He was struggling with meeting even his basic needs. And then he remembered how full of everything his father's house was and how safe that it was for him. Shockingly, it took the most primitive and despicable motive for a son to return home to ask for forgiveness. This same God 
it, excuse me, this is the same that God is with us. He loves and understands us. He understands that man is weak and cannot lift his heart above material wealth and items. God understands that sin has killed the seedlings of nobility and hope and loss of creation. We are lost to the ability to see beyond our primitive desires and need to survive. Therefore, God shelters the prodigal son in his life. But at the same time, he gives his son another chance to start anew. I chose this devotion today when thinking about Rally Day. Rally Day is a call to come home, to come back to the church. It's a lot of times because we've just been busy with summer or busy with different activities that we've gone away from church. But the pandemic has pulled people away from church. People's desire for other things in life has pulled them away from the church. There's been lots of reasons to leave and people struggle with reasons to come back. That's why this is so important. We need to remember that we're all prodigal sons. We all go through this at some point in time. And God is always willing to be the father to welcome us back in. No matter what we've done, no matter how long we've been away, we're still welcome back with the same open arms through Jesus and his sacrifice for us. God loves us that much. And it's hard for us to remember and it's easy to get out of the habit of church. But as we start a new season, please consider if you haven't been to church in a while, coming to church here or going someplace else, reach out to God because that's what he wants from us. He wants us to reach out to him and ask to come home and he's eagerly waiting us. I hope you enjoyed the devotion today. And again, I wanna invite everybody to Rally Day. It's important that we come together and we worship and fellowship as a community of Christians because our faith in God, being with one another, strengthens those bonds. Before we close today, I'd like to end us with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we often find ourselves repeating the prayer words of the lost son. Father, we have sinned against you. I am not worthy to be called your child. But each time you embrace us with your love and your mercy, you forgive our sins and give us a new chance at life. You restore our dignity and we are immensely grateful to you. Give us the strength to give up the things of our life and to reach out to you. Give us your wisdom to see past the temptations that are keeping us from you and guide us to overcome them. We ask this in your name. Amen. Have a good week, and I hope to see you all on Sunday. Thanks.